All right, you guys, so today we're gonna be looking at a TikTok Lucky Scoop, and this is from Highland Crystals. This is how it came out of the box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what kind of crystals we got from the scoop. I do have the original video that we can watch together. And if you guys don't know what a TikTok Lucky Scoop is, basically it's a scoop that you pay for on TikTok and then they scoop it live for you on air. So as I am explaining it, I'll play a video of the show that I was watching with Highland Crystals, but it's basically random pull for all of the crystals that you get. They are a factory in China. They have access to all of these crystals, so that's why they're able to sell them so cheap. A lot of people have debated that it's unethical, but they're basically selling their crystals at a wholesale price, mystery style. So that's why they're able to get them so cheap. They're often probably selling things that they can't resell to the United States market, hence why they're able to sell them even cheaper than some wholesalers. In the meantime, they're making money on products Product they normally wouldn't be able to sell. So let's get this open and see what we got. All right, so there is the first bag of my Lucky Scoop. So there's some of the items and these are the other items. Oh, oh my God, you guys, this is like totally not <laughs> what I ordered. I Okay, I'm really shocked by this because this is definitely not what was in my scoop. I really, really, really thought that they would just put what was in my scoop in my bag. This is not it, so let's zoom in. We're gonna not only take a look at the quality, but also the original video. Because honey, this is not, I literally thought that I would just get the items that were in my scoop, but th these are not it. So let me show you the video. Barbara, one scoop for you, Barbara. Barbara, Ooh, Barbara. I know her. Really? <laughs> okay, the funniest thing about this video is, can you guys hear the guy in the background go, Barbara, Barbara, I know her. And they very well could know me. It did link my crystal shop when I checked out and I obviously have wholesalers in China that I work with, so he may know me from that. A lot of the wholesalers know each other, so that just made me kind of laugh. One more, one more. Yeah, uh, one skip, right? One skip. So I'll get to the rose skip. Okay, first of all, you can see from the scoop that there is like pinks and reds, and there sure ain't pinks and reds right here. I am just so shook at this, you guys. She said I had two rose quartz spheres. There's literally no rose quartz here, obviously. The next sphere is like a dark red and then a pale orange, but listen to how she calls the sphere. Uh, one more sunstone and one more rose quartz sphere. Sunstone and rhodochrosite. I gotta say you guys, number one, that is absolutely not rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite is not that color. If that was a real rhodochrosite sphere, first of all, it would be pink. Second of all, it would be like $500. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have either of those spheres. I do have this one, which is the sunstone. Editing me, it's not even sunstone. It's a low quality orange adventurine or some other low quality jade or something like that. It's not even sunstone. But I don't have what I assume was red jasper or polychrome jasper in this scoop at all. And also you got the free scale from us, braces free. All the free gift today. So free skull and bracelet. If you guys like literally freeze frame on the bracelet, the bracelet I was supposed to get was blue. This is not blue. The skull I was supposed to get was like a gray skull and I ended up getting this skull, which is actually kind of better than the skull that they were supposedly supposed to give me. Also you got the first towel towel. Okay, and it says I got a tower. Clearly no tower here. Like Zero. Tower, you got the Riaga Jasper. Oh, it says I got two towers. Okay. Larry, uh, kiwi Jasper leaf. A kiwi Jasper leaf. No leaf here. Leaf, you got two fluorite trees. Two fluorite money. Two fluorite money trees. Mm, no. Boss Eggy Palm Stone and a mini bat. So cute. Yeah. Thank you so much. So a mini bat, a star shape, and then um, something moss egg. I don't know, none of that stuff is here. Like at all, like I'm like, is this someone else's scoop or did they literally just completely scam me? And I thought at least you would get the, the damn items in the scoop. Like what's the point if you don't? That is so stupid. And plus I waited 25 minutes for them to do this stupid scoop that I didn't even really want. <laughs> I really just got it for this video and now I'm pissed. So let's go over what 
what we do have in the supposed value and quality because literally none of this matches my scoop. I would give them the benefit of the doubt and say that this was someone else's scoop, but I don't even think it was that. I think they just pull your scoop live on air and send you completely different crystals that are unsaleable in their warehouse. First up, we have a Picasso Jasper bracelet. This is just really low quality. The polish is low quality. The material is low quality. There's barely any patterning on it. Overall, just not good quality for the bracelet. The next item we got, this looks like a sphalerite skull, which is pretty decently nice. There definitely is some sparkly druzy and some really cool patterning on it. The carving's decent. It's also just not highly polished. There's a lot of unpolishing on the teeth. I'm not sure if it's been repaired here or what's quite going on there, but the best part of the, the piece is this part right here. <laughs> Next, we have this super low quality serpentine sphere. It's just, look at, look at how bad the quality is. It's just all white. There's no color, no pattern. The whole sphere should look like this, but it's just all quartz or US retail store wouldn't sell this. Next we have the sunstone sphere and the polishing on the sphere isn't great. The sphere is really lopsided. It doesn't have a good polish. It's kind of wonky the way that it was carved. It's just something I would never sell in my shop. Next we have this baby kanbaba jasper. Again this is just kind of low quality. There isn't really a high shine polish on it. They didn't polish it very well at all. Again it's lopsided. It's not a perfect sphere. It's like they didn't want to pay to polish them all the way through. That's true with, with all of these spheres. And this sphere is a plum jasper sphere. Again, I personally wouldn't carry this in my shop. It is real. All the crystals so far are real. This one is, I mean, a decent quality. This one does have decent polish. Like just comparing it to this, you can see how high shine the polish is. And this one just is really matte. You can feel the difference in the polish as well. Not something I would carry in my shop. Flower Agate Flame. It has some nice plumes. There's just a lot of nicks and divots in it, which those are natural. The point is totally destroyed right there. Then we have this Kiwi Jasper Mushroom. The carving's decent. I mean, they carve these really cheaply. I mean, this is a decent piece. And then we have this piece, which is absolutely horrendous and terrible quality. This is a polychrome jasper flame and everything is wrong with it. First of all, this was not even polished off. This is like matrix or damage or whatever the case may be that they didn't even bother to polish. It's all damaged right here, the surface, which sometimes can happen, but you can see the damage on the edges there, which should have been polished out. There's a huge crack right here that I'm not sure if that's natural because if it were it would have been polished in but you can hear that it, it hasn't been. It's just all dinged up right here obviously and then it's just dinged up everywhere and this is just like the shittiest quality of polychrome jasper that I have ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. They also were saying this was ocean jasper which they do form together and form near each other. I would never ever dare sell this in my shop. And let's look at the Labradorite palm stone. This one is decent from like a flash standpoint. It has a decent amount of flash. You can tell it hasn't really been polished evenly right there or there. Though I do think this little rainbow right here is pretty cool. Lots of natural damage on the surface. Overall, the scoop definitely wasn't worth it. It was 100% a scam. I wasn't like in love with the scoop that they scooped for me, but I was expecting those pieces. I was expecting the two rose quartz sphere and the two towers and the trees, and I don't have any of that. Some of this in, at my wholesaler shop would be unsaleable. It's just so low quality that they wouldn't even sell it to me like this. They would wouldn't dare sell this and they do these scoops and they they make bank you guys They make 
bank. My supplier told me that they're making like $20,000 a day and that was when they didn't have the shows going 24-7. So they're making money off you guys. They're sending you frankly shitty quality crystals that they can't resell to the American market. Taking your money and sending you low quality crystals that aren't even shown in the scoop. I would absolutely 100% not recommend this. I really wouldn't you guys because it's not even about ethical sourcing it's that you're just straight up getting scammed like you're just getting scammed so if you don't want to get scammed buy from a local crystal shop here and yes you're paying a little bit more money but you're getting good quality and at least you know what you're getting i have a crystal shop i have mystery boxes and the mystery boxes i give you i give you my wholesale cost so you're getting way more than the retail value super disappointing in highland crystals don't don't buy from these shops you guys if any of you want these i'll list it on my website and you can, you can get it. If you're a school teacher and you want to give them to your kids or if you're a mom or dad and you want to give them to your kids to play around with, go buy them on my website. They'll be there for 14 bucks. Okay, this was a fun experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not buy from Highland Crystals or any other TikTok crystal scoop. I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but you'll seriously be wasting your money. Thank you guys again for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Don't yell at me in the comments that you knew I was going to get scammed, please. And I'll See you guys on the next one. Bye. So for this week's giveaway, we're going to be giving away this gorgeous celestite egg. It has some really nice formation and it's raw on the back, but you can still see some of the celestite coming through. This is a really beautiful egg. And we'll also be giving away one of these ruby and fuchsite. And there's also a little bit of kyanite in here. And this is a faceted sphere. These retail for about $90 in my shop. And these are from India. So super beautiful. I'm really excited to give away both of these pieces. So if you guys want to enter, comment your favorite part of the video you just watched and make sure to leave me your Instagram name as well so I can contact you if you're the winner. All right. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye.